Weathering with you has everything we know and love about Makoto Shinkai's work. As with your name from 2016, this movie has excellent characters, music, art, um, just everything to create a, an amazing story that I enjoyed a lot. And I'm going to review it today. Um, so this is a movie that I've been excited for a long time, and I was so happy to finally see it after a year since it was released. So I knew I had to make a review about it. So this, this movie centers around Hodaka, a teenager who uh, moves from his hometown into, he, and he goes to Tokyo to find work. And he does this because he feels like he has lost his place in the world. He wants to have an adventure and he just feels a lot of uh, angst and, uh, and, and, you know, just a feeling of exploring and experimenting everything the world has to offer. And he feels like Tokyo is the best place to do that. And this is a story that I feel very... Um, I feel very related to because I've been through some similar situations. Um, so during his journey, he encounters several characters that uh, help him around, and he also gets himself into a lot of trouble. And during uh, during this time, he meets Hina, a girl who has the power to control the weather. So she has she basically has the power to stop the never ending wet like the raining that happens in Tokyo. That for some reason it rains every single day and without stopping. Um, and, I, and this is the basic premise of the movie. And over time, a lot of stuff happens. And this movie has so many beautiful and impactful moments that make it a, just an amazing work of art. As with your name, Weathering With You has some of the most beautiful and impactful visual art and music that I've seen in a film. So Red Wimps comes back to compose the score for Weathering With You. And as with your name, it, it was completely one of the best that I've seen for me. And I actually enjoyed the score and the soundtrack for Weathering With You even more than I did for Your Name. Um, all the songs are absolutely great, especially um, uh, Grand Escape and Celebration. Those are like my two favorites from the from the film. And I think the music plays a central role into the in the film. Like it makes every scene as impactful, like even more impactful than it usually is. And I think without the soundtrack. And also like the beautiful scenery, the movie wouldn't be the same for me. Um, but anyways, like I, th I thought the, yeah, I think it carries a lot of the scenes and that is one of the best things about this film and just any other film in Makoto Shinkai's uh, filmography. Um, so the, the movie has a lot of themes that are worth analyzing too. Some of the themes that are present throughout the movie are like of the teenage desperation to become independent. And that is all reflected through Hodaka, who through his journey, he he faces a lot of trouble, but also a lot of beautiful moments that define him and change him as a character and as a person. And that is something I really enjoyed about this movie. Like the characters learn from their mistakes. Um, they learn from each other. Hina also learns, learns a lot of lessons from Hodaka and Hodaka from Hina. And so throughout the movie, they start getting closer and they start their own business. And uh, the business is Hina, ha like she has the power to stop the rain. So she um, she gets hired by people like for parties and, you know, visits to the parks to be like, oh, you know, it's raining today. I want you to stop the weather. And then they pay her. So, you know, that that's pretty cute. Uh, however, spoilers ahead. I'm going to start with spoilers from now. So if you don't want to get the movie spoiled, if you want to watch it, just skip towards the end or turn off the video. Um, so what Horaka doesn't know is that each time Hina uses her power, she starts, uh, like she starts turning into water. So she starts like kind of dying a little bit and that, that has a, a lot of implications towards the end. Um, so after a while they start to become runaways from the police and, uh, Horaka and Hina, they, they're, they're basically runaways. So, so them two, along with her brother go and, uh, escape and they're basically they abandon their businesses because they're runaways and this leads to a very emotional scene uh, a, a scene in a hotel which is probably my favorite scene in the movie uh, it was very emotional it made me tear up a little but they start kind of like uh, so what they do is they kind of enjoy the last day before you know they probably get arrested the next day they don't know what's going to happen so they kind of order food they sing karaoke and along with the the score, it, it makes a really emotional scene, and it's probably my like, you know my favorite from the movie. Um, but anyways, I, I thought the the movie did a great job at, at portraying Hodaka as 
you know, a teenager who makes a lot of emotional decisions, because that's what we all do when we're 16, 17 years old. We kind of let emotions control us. And ultimately, I mean, it's, I st it starts off kind of like as a negative towards him, but ultimately that's what leads them to save Hina towards the end. Um, in the end, as Horaka uh, becomes a runaway from the police, um, he realizes that Hina has disappeared, so she turns completely into water, into rainwater, and he discovers a way to save her, and it becomes hard because as the police starts chasing him, he realizes like he has to save her despite everything, despite being arrested, and you know, his friends help him, and this leads to a very beautiful conclusion, so the last 30 minutes of the movie are absolutely great, um, very emotional, very powerful, and it has a great scene where he is like falling after he discovers Hina again. He starts falling uh, with her like through the sky, and that make and with along with the score, it makes a really beautiful scene that I enjoyed a lot. And it's honestly, this is like what I enjoy the most about about these movies is the way they, uh, you know, play with your emotions. You know, with the various themes, which are uh, teenage angst and you know, teenage emotional. Uh, basically acting out of emotions and, and but it also has like a certain beauty to it it has a beauty of like you know the beauty and in innocence the beauty and um basically yeah letting your emotions take control and being guided by what you think is great at the time um but anyways i think this is a beautiful masterpiece a great work of art a perfect follow-up for your name and i enjoyed every second of weathering with you so as a final score, I'm going to give it a 95 out of 100. I think it's a great film. Um, even if you don't watch uh, much anime, I highly recommend it, uh, as I did with your name. And I think they're some of the best films in a while and two of my favorite animated films of all time. So anyways, that's all for today for this video. If you like it, you know, like and subscribe and share. Also, yeah, you, you would help a lot the channel if you shared my videos. That would help a lot. And anyways, that's all for today. See you around. Bye.